Hey, what's up, people? It's your boy Cyfax. We got it. We got a new deck to put on display. My blind second ABC list with some spice in it. Some secret tech that uh, I came up with. Sound effects are a little low. Let's turn them down. All right. What we got over here? We got Shadal Fusion, Anchor Tops, the Shrudo, the One of Terraforming, and Phantasme. Rusty. A few of these are going to be pre-list, but don't worry, we got plenty with the uh, the current format. So I summon Rusty, knowing that Dengirsu is going to come, and it doesn't summon it. Doesn't go for the Dengirsu, but that is five back row. My hand is so live, though. Let's see what this deck can do against five back row. Immediately take out the Crescendo for Pankatops. Take the one for one. Send the Crush and Shadal Beast to draw a card. Bait both fog blades. Still get the draw. Not a very good draw. Pitch the banker tops. The uh, melody search. On the levee in air. Pop two back row, and we still have our normal summon. With the destrudo as well. I mean, the the duel is completely over. He has two Orcus nightmare in his hand. I don't know how that happened. There's the Boro Sword. Crush activates. Turn that uh, A to defense mode. Some two more tokens. Go into Cerberus. Pop his uh, Galati. He floats into Rusty. Go into Boro Sword Savage. And we still had Chaos Emperor. Is there a rank 8 in here? There might be. There might not. I think I wanted to make um, Boro Load. I was going to summon this, make Boro Load. And then go into uh, Dragon Buster. So that's, you can see this, this duel just, or this deck, it just summons a million cards. We got the uh, new Gladiator B support, and we got our boy, Genax ally, Birdman, who's at one on the ban list. This card is, it's really good. It's a level three dark tuner. Um, basically the entire deck is just... Light and darks, and hoping that your opponent goes off because you need cards like Shadal Fusion, Banker Tops, and Phantasme to uh, fuel your engines. Shadal Fusions is always like one of the first cards I activate just to get the ball rolling. So at the time, I didn't know that uh, Appaloosa was once per chain. So I could have chained uh, Banker Tops there to try to take it out. And then that would have forced the uh, Domitanius. Domitanius. Yeah, this is a monster effect negation, and it can redirect attacks. So that happens here. This thing is down to, what, 800? Yeah. One more negate, he uses the last one. But I have Birdman. Just bounce the Armageddon Knight. And then there it is. Yazi into Mermare. We're going to see Mermare summoned a few times more than once in a duel, but it's going to be a lot. Take advantage of the up arrow for a draw, and he scoops. Oh, I think this dude's playing Needle Fiber. Draco Net, Ducks, and Dragon Ravine. I mean, this is like, this is four negations at minimum, right? Yep, Needle Fiber. Is he playing Red Med too? Probably not. I hope not. <laughs> Red Med is banned in the OCG, and he's playing Needle Fiber. That's like doing Needle Fiber Summon Sorcerers, honestly. What a scumbag. Alright, so there's negation number one. This is going to search, what, the equip? Yep. Get a flanks from deck. Summon Mistletin, revive the flanks, or whatever. Or Sword Savage. And I think a Crystal Wing is coming soon. Yeah, Gaydark. I mean, this is like... This is, you know, without Soul Charge and shit. This is about as strong as this field can get, right? Gamma Seal with Waterfront is better, but he's got three cards left in his extra deck. They're all trash. And, uh... Well, let's see what we can do. Start off with the Melody. It's a plus one for him. Actually, it's a plus two, so of course you're going to negate it. 
Four Sword Savage negates the Shadal Fusion, but we have two of them. We can activate the second. We're in there. Trick Clown will revive itself. Construct gets bounced. Draw a card. Draw into permanence. That's a little dead. Target a back row. Pop the Lance. I don't even know if that thing does anything. Foolish Burial for B Buster Drake. Go into Cerberus to force out the Crystal Wing. And the last card in the grave that can be activated is Destrudo. And all of the negations have been baited. And since he Destrudoed, he's only at 4,000. So, let's see, am I playing Boros Sword? Yes. That is automatically game. Draw another card, go into a Pankratops. Bog Champ. Back over the Crystal Wing. Flex on him by attacking the biggest stuff first, and that's game. Nice needle fiber. That's a, what is it called? Planet Pathfinder, I think? Yeah. So we Valor the um, Jizuku, so he doesn't get an engage. Shadal Fusion. Will there be a duel without Shadal Fusion? I hope so. so the Construct gets Widow Anchored. No Shadal Beast for us. And will we kill him? Are we going to get greedy and pop the area zero for a draw? Yes, we are, because we're an idiot. In hindsight, I absolutely should not have done that. <laughs> I think I took Boral Sword out at this point, so sometimes it can be hard to kill. So we can't target Avermax. Ooh, Emerald. Fog Jam. Shuffle back the resource. Oh my god. This stupid thing won't die. And if this was Boral Sword, it would have just got Kai on it anyways. Alright, so. We're in a very good position here. Shout out to the token. Engage Chain Hornet. That's a Cyframe monster. At this point, I was still thinking he was just playing pure Sky Striker. I mean, I'm in commanding position of this duel. Right? Shuffle back the Mare Mare again. <laughs> oh, it didn't draw into it. And here it comes. Mystic Mine. I have to link away everything. Can I take the stupid thing? I wonder if I should have taken it. Is it a better play to just destroy it? But then you could just... I don't know. And then, now it's just, will I draw a Cosmic Cyclone? Got Cyframes in his hand. <laughs> Look at this. Cosmic Cyclone, come to me! He's not as bad as you think. He When he did that, he was just literally trolling. He said in the chat, ha ha, get trolled. Boom, we draw it. See you later. Alright, now we just need to do 1700. So, Alpha, Alpha searches, right? So he goes into Beta. Beta, you, um... When you attack, you destroy the attacking monster, then end the battle phase. We're going to Yazi into Mermer again, turn 14. The Alphas again to get the field spell. Link Robo in the Link Rebo in the grave. We draw into Levianair. We banish three darks, activate Levianair. And we yoink it. We pop that shit. And I banished the driver thinking he only plays one, and then I checked the graveyard. It's like, oh, there's another one. Oops. And then at this point, I just willy-nilly attack, and he dies. And then I top deck Union Hanger. Oh, he doesn't have Link Karibo, though. All right, what's the play string here? Banker tops, attack. We will... I mean, he's already used... Two interruptions. Just off of one monster. We'll take it. 
That's not good for us. He didn't strike the Yazi summon though, so that's very good. It keeps the Distrudo in grave and it keeps the resource alive. He bounces the B, crush triggers though, and he uses another protocol back to negate, and he cannot kill me. Link Rebo? Ooh, Hextia. Alright, so this turns on my Shadal Fusion. Anchor Tops is still very live, and we still have Melody Search. The second Shadal Fusion gets drawn. Okay, so let's pause it here. Psalm Strike. Uh, Call of the Haunted. Uh, Silquitus Bounce. Uh, Spell and Trap Negation, not once per turn. And Conquery. That's That's quite a bit here. All right, so we pick first. And we just let, we just let it show there for a little bit. Go on the battle phase. There's the Conquery. He uses his bounce on B after negating the A with Conquery, and then um, I don't even know what just happened. With my Panker tops, but it's gone. He uses his spell and trap negation for Melody. Instantly revives this. I go into Shadal Fusion. Tributes it. And even though it says once per turn, if you negate the activation, you can just activate it again. And he's got a Solemn Strike. We make Trick Clown, Chain Link 3, because that was the least important one. Shadal Dragon, pops a Solemn Strike. Go into Unicorn. Get rid of the Protocol. And then we have our Discard Fodder for Shadal Fusion. Banish the Hex Damp. Now he has five cards in hand, and he still can come back pretty easily, I feel like. Okay. So we take out the known trap, because there's no point of trying to hit a back row, and one of them could be like Twin Twisters or something. We take out the protocol. And then, honestly, one of this deck's biggest weaknesses, if you don't kill them, is if they sit on a Called by the Grave, and you tag out the end phase... They called by the grave, you you pretty much lose the duel, but fortunately that didn't happen. So he draw faces and I don't know why he did that. It seemed like a complete waste. I hit the crackdown. And one thing that I've been forgetting to do is to summon the equipped piece to the field before I normal summon to get the extra monster on field. I've been doing it recently, but not in these replays. Whoa, that was aggressive. Chain blocked the Skull Dread. Drawn to Sarki into Deserto. Pay 150 for the Yazi. The, the engine is still alive. What did I say at the beginning of the... When he saw him strike the Deserto? He kept my engine alive. And finally, turn 6. Here we are. All he has is Concurry. We should be able to kill him. Will we kill him? Who knows. Going to Cerberus. Pop the Marionetta for a draw. Going to Call by the Grave. There's the Boral Sword. Attack. Gets a trap back. Now, I didn't know that this still triggered if I could just chain link to banish this. So, I completely botched this. It was a fuck up for sure. And he lives. Panic. Top tech secret village. I've got no spells I want to activate, my friend. And then he said GG, because he thought that he was just going to attack with Meloseek. Boy, I got Boral Sword in the field. Change your little cute ass to defense position. Wow. Draw phase, gamer. Dude, I only have to do 1200. Like, I'm... Pretty sure you're gonna die. That was a confusing turn. He has one negation after all of that. Then we snipe the Rourke because he used the second effect, so I knew which one it was. See ya. Draw on the Chaos Emperor, it's decent. Trick Clown, Chain Link 3. Shall be straw card. And we are looking 
mighty fine at this point. No ashes in hand. Cerberus? Yup. He uses his uh, Bailinx effect. I'm going to reset my hand. Terraforming. Union Hanger. Special A out of the hand. Equip what B? Hell yeah. Link that all that shit away for a Boral Sword. Melody. And if you link this away, it goes back into the deck. So then you can Melody and just search it again. I did not know that until this duel happened. So then I activate uh, Lemonair's first effect for destroying cards. He summons a Gazelle and a Fowl in defense mode, which is kind of annoying. I put it in the scale. I had back a Phantasme. That play would have been a lot cooler if I didn't already have one in hand. I banish the Gazelle. Not at one. And then I go into battle phase. And at some point, I think he showed me that he had Raccoon. And I've never actually like read this card. Alright, so here it comes. When your Salamigreet monster is targeted for an attack by an opponent's monster, you can send this card from here into the graveyard, then target those two monsters that would battle, gain life points equal to the attack. Also, your targeted monster cannot be destroyed by battle this turn. <laughs> if I just kept my banish, I would have waited until he raccooned, and then I'd just banish it. But now he's going to live. But, will it matter? There's no way he can just come back here, right? I mean, Fusion of Fire is a card, so... Mini... Sunlight Wolf... Bye, Sunlight Wolf. I mean, we're fine, right? Mirror Force of a Lifetime right here? It's gone. So he trolls me, and hopefully this isn't the duel where I realize that you can't Saryuja after you get drolled. That would be embarrassing. I shouldn't have said anything. And now the Mega Fleets come. Any top text? Cybernetic Overflow? Really? It's a pretty damn good draw there. Not as good as just the level 2, of course. Then an Ash. I draw on the Veiler. I have no idea if I'm going to win this duel. Do I not have targets? I don't have a light engraved, do I? No, I do. I guess I was just scared of banishing B. Don't want to summon this. Or, I'm going to drop it right now and activate the effect. Hell yeah. Alright, here we go. Top decking war. We just... Ah, oh, machine dupe! Chanel dragon! That's two attacks! Can we get there? He draws it a one for one. Get fucking destroyed. And I haven't read this card in three, two. Monsters pointing to this can't be destroyed by card effects. If I use it on this, that would have been amazing. Just immediately get rid of the Hydrolander. Oh well. It don't matter. Avermax, Hydrolander, Beatrice. Right? He's gonna have a Beatrice? Yeah. I mean, that's that's pretty good. Right? But this hand is broken. <laughs> hand is nuts. So we pitch the Phantasma, immediately go into Levy in there. We've already got our lights and darks set up. So that destroys two, and he trades with Hydrolander. Wait, what? Oh, and this thing doesn't target, so it immediately outs um, Avermax. And I guess he had multiple names. Yeah, two Gigantes, so Hydrolander didn't work. Chain called by the grave on the Dante? I needed the Beatrice to work because I have Shadal Fusion still in hand, so I needed the uh, the targets. Probably should have saved the called by the grave for the Farfa though. Oh well. Honestly, it's fine because it clears up the extra monster zone. <laughs> And away we go. You wouldn't even know I'm playing ABCs in some of these duels. It's just going second, 
Turbo Light and Dark. I'm not sure why he summoned that. He just gave me Cerberus target. I have yet to normal summon. Is that true? There it is. Normal summon. Equip the C out of deck. Make a link to so I can trigger my C. And he is not dead. Construct just comes back. Hey, look, Tor Guide. Oh my god. Lock Dragon is a card. That was really aggressive. Okay. Adds two Rock Spirits. Draws in the Light Second. Draw two. Summons Block Dragon again. Banishes Giant Rex. Not sure why he set that. It's a draw off my Union Hanger pop. Sabres and the Boral Sword. And he ends up scooping here. Okay. This is why I named the replay. I live here, right? If he attacks this, I just tag out and they're all in the defense position. If he attacks this, it gains 1100. And I take 3000. I would live. But he can't attack Construct because that started the damage step. If you battle a special summon monster, it just dies. And I think he realized that and he just scooped it up. Because then next turn I would just summon my Link 4 and. Um, it's either. I always have at least an Avermax or a Boral Load to out Boral Swords. I've actually taken Boral Sword out because the card's kind of boring. Yeah. Didn't set the other called by the grave. That's a mistake. Alright, Institution first. Snatch the Sunlight Wolf. He doesn't care. Panker Tops. Ooh, protect the judgment. Should all fusion. He doesn't use the judgment. Are you kidding me? You just protected the card that would have won you the duel, and then you don't activate it. And you don't set the other called by the grave, which would have just negated Yazi. Uh, floating effect. Wow, that's like one of the biggest botches I think I've ever seen. <laughs> There's some players that, uh... Is he gonna protect the field spell? That'd be legendary. Yep. That's my normal summon. There are 12 cards in the graveyard, and that was my normal summon. Oh, look at that. I still get a draw. You couldn't let me keep going? Really dumb. Links it away. Card destruction. I draw into some pretty damn good cards. Little Balm sums Balderock. And he has brought it all the way back. Draw something good. I don't know what the other card was, but there's the Shudo. And then he just draw phase Super Poly. <laughs> Wonderful. <laughs> and he draws into Ash. Immediately take out the Balderock. Go into Thousand Eyes of Shick. Snatch his Starving Venom Dragon. Go into Yazi. And I go to pop the Vampire Sucker. And there's the Ash he just drew. And now we're at the top decking war. Phantasme. Brick. B. We'll take it. Attack. Fucking Unizombie. Like, really? Unizombie? Stun. So, I'm sure at some point you thought, what in the world are you supposed to do against stun? Well, when you have hands like this, there's not much you can do, but you can try. So, this is the last Beat Raptor. Negates monsters in these zones. Top decks to Mize. <laughs> There can only be one. Sure. We'll should all dragon pop the summon limit. This is doing absolutely nothing. We have to attack over the beat raptor. Mirror force. See you later. Normal summon the A. Pass. Draws in fossil dyna. Does not play it. Top deck red reboot. Hell yeah. Let's go again.
We're down to a thousand. There goes our trick clown and our instant fusion. Attack over this damn thing. Pop that there can only be one. Here come the tokens. Saryuja for four, drawn to Heavy Dust Storm and Red Reboot again. Pop his Necker Valley because I need to summon Buster. Pitch the A to pop the Psalm Strike he set off of the Red Reboot. And then he sets two. And this is what Heavy Storm Duster is for. And since we know this is Mirror Force, we can just banish it for free on my turn. Easy clap. But he has two Demise in hand. We don't set the Impermanence. And I should not have put this in this column, because if I want to turn this off, I can set the impermanence there. For some reason I go to battle phase and then don't do anything. This was a complete mistake. And then I just summon a buster right into Solemn Strike. I've had better plays. <laughs> Goes into Moon Mirror Shield. Attacks, takes me to 900. Cardinomize again. Not looking too good for us. We imperm the uh, Ryo, and then we Panker Tops, take out the Negro Valley, then the Shruno, go on the Yazi, pick a card, any card, take it out, get rid of the Moon Mirror Shield, go on to Mare Mare. Back row is not very good. Go on to Phoenix, hit a random card, Mirror Force, and then we... Bonus should all dragon in his entire Yo <laughs> I don't even know what just happened. He got obliterated. His field literally vanished. I have never seen a field disappear that quickly. Well, there's just a taste of some of the replays. But here's the deck. So the ratios, they feel pretty good. Um you pretty much never want to open two pieces. Especially C. C is by far the worst one. Um, you know, these are all of your powerful starter cards. Uh, Panker Tops, Shadal Fusion, and Shrudo. So, we play 2A, 2B, 1C. And then, you pretty much, I think, have to play this card. Uh, when you normal summon it, you equip a Union Monster from Grave. Or no, you special summon a Union Monster from Grave. Instant Link 2, um... Getting it back with A is very good for when you don't want to add back a B or C because you know that you need them in the grave for Buster. If you make support armor, it's broken. And this card with Brilliant Fusion, back when Brilliant Fusion it was at three, was absolutely bonkers. Then you have the Shadal Engine. I've never messed around with playing other ones. Um, I mean, I could probably play Winda in here or something, but just the Beast and the Dragon. And the one Armageddon Knight with Rota, so it's at two. You'd probably play Greffer and Dangers, but I don't think it's worth it. Too many cards you don't want to randomly discard off Dangers and shit. And you have your Chaos Dragon package. At one point I was playing three, but I think two is better. You could probably just play two Levy in there. Um, the problem with these cards is if you don't Shadal Fusion, it is very hard to get a... Uh, Light and dark, and definitely three light and darks in the grave. You, know, you don't ever want to banish C, because then you can't summon Buster. You can take the risk and banish one of these two. But you're always going to be wanting to banish the Shadal cards and like a Trick Clown or a Phantasme. But yeah, these cards have definitely lost me duels. But I want to play more than 40, because opening Mare Mare in 40 cards happens way too much. So anything from like, you know, 42 to like 50 cards, I think is more optimal if you're going to play Mare Mare. This card has to be in the deck, like at all times. Uh, triple Destrudo, no Dragon Ravine, no, uh, what's it called? You know, no um, Dragon Shrine, that's what I was thinking of. Just the triple. It's enough. Try to save it for last. Three Panker Tops, we're going second every single duel. The one of Trick Clown, where the Link plays, and you know, the Chaos Engine. Three Phantasme, Dark Hand Trap, Light Hand Trap. This fixes your hand. 
This is not once per turn and is very strong right now. And then Birdman can easily be cut. Um, yeah, I did show one duel where it literally won me the duel. It was the last card I had that I could play and my opponent had no more negations. The one of terraforming, it hurts that this card isn't at 2 anymore or at 3. If this was at 3, you could probably play Dragon Ravine to, um, to pitch something and get a Shrewdo Engrave. But the reason I'm not playing Twin Twisters, I'm playing Cyclone, is called by the Grave. If you pitch a Shrewdo and Twin Back Row, they'll just call it by the Grave to Shrewdo every time. And it's it's awful. And then, you know, Dengirsu and Orcus, that's like their best card right now. And they'll just protect shit. Alamin Great will just protect stuff. I think Cyclone's better. You just get rid of it, basically, permanently. And of course, 3 of Shadal Fusion. Uh, Foolish Burial. You can pitch Shadal Dragon. If you really need to draw a card, you can pitch Beast. You can pitch an ABC piece to turn this on. You can pitch to Shrudo. You can pitch Trick Clown to just immediately get a monster on the field. Foolish Burial is broken in this deck. Of course, a 3 Union Hanger. I might try 3 Instant Fusion. Because Thousand Eyes Restricted is stupid. And it's a dark, and then you just make Link Rebo, which is, will be another dark for the, the uh, Chaos Dragons. It, it gets stuff going. Of course, 3 Called by the Grave, because Ash Blossom on the Yazi Summon is not fun for us. And then the 2 Cyclone, 2 Melody. Only 2 Buster. Tools aren't going very long, so you don't need 3. Of course, the 1 of Construct. This could be, but you could easily play a different card besides this. But I like to flex on people and overextend and draw as many cards as possible. Always need Ozzy, always need Saryuja. I've been liking the Appaloosa. I've been using this a lot recently. Some of those duels were older. Um, I like to join TCG only lobbies, so this card just came out and I couldn't play this, but now I can. I really, I, I've been liking this card a lot. Um, Avermax completely takes the shit on Boral Sword, but loses to Boral Load. But not too many people are playing Boral Load anymore. Unicorn, you pretty much always need this because um, to link climb with Phoenix or Cerberus, you need a down arrow. And I don't have Decode Talker. I could probably switch this for Decode Talker. But this is more fun. And then uh, B Cop. If you're not playing B Cop in 2019, I don't know what's going on. It's got two down arrows. It's as generic as possible, and it's a dark. Like I, I don't know what else you need. Yeah, it, I will pretty much never use the effect, but you don't need the effect, and you can link climb with it perfectly. Like it's the best. And then Link Spider and Link Rebo for the Mare Mare Plays side deck is a meme. Banya. Basically, this deck gets stuffed on by Draco and Guru and Rogue. So you have to side uh, the Pankertops is out. You have to side Shadal Fusion out. You have to side Shadal Beast out. You have to side Phantasma, and then that's nine cards right there. So you've got the Impermanences. Uh, to shut off Floodgates and back row, or to hit monsters like uh, Goliath and Sloth and Inspector Border. Evenly, of course. Red Reboot, and then Lancia for Thunder, Book of Moom. <laughs> Just an experiment. Uh, and the third Cosmic Cyclone. So yeah, it's a fun deck. Um, you will always catch opponents by surprise once you finally normal summon this, and you've, you know... You've played your Panker Tops and your Shadal Fusion, your Yazi. And then they're like, oh. And you can somehow summon like two Link Fours and a Buster in the same turn with ABCs, baby. Who would have thought?